Good morning, explorers. I'm Adam. I'm Steve. And <laughs> we're the Waypoint Explorers. It's a windy morning up here on deck 15, actually 16. Uh, we just tried to find a shady spot to sit and chat. We had breakfast this morning, I didn't take the camera. Maybe that was the trick to not being stressed at the buffet, because I didn't feel stressed. I mean, I still have my annoyances with the buffet, but... It was better today. Yeah, it was better today. So maybe it's just, it's, it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Our wonderful waiter from last night was in the buffet area this morning and he went and got us uh, Americano and a cappuccino, which was super sweet of him to do. Cause the, I think he just knew that I, the black coffee wasn't gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I think the plan, tonight's formal night, which I'm excited about. And there's a show tonight that we're gonna go to, which I'm also very excited about. Broadway ballroom, something like that. Yeah, ballroom Broadway or some, I think it's just the musicians on board singing a couple of famous songs and hoping some wicked songs will get in there. But uh, at 12.15 we have a steel drum class, which he's really excited about. And actually, I'm pretty excited for it too. Yeah. Because you just, you think of steel drums, you think of a cruise. Today is just a sea day, so we just have those few things going on. Um, but right now we're just gonna relax a bit on on this deck and just look out at the ocean. It's kind of cloudy, It's kind which is kind of weird for us, sea cloud. Yeah. <laughs> From Phoenix, there's rarely clouds. It's nice. It's, it, I think it's nice not to be in the direct sun. I'm certain you can hear that music, so I'm going to talk loud so you, I won't get any issues with YouTube. I successfully ordered uh, some snacks for our just hangout. So with the app, with the Princess app, you can or place a food order or a drink order and they will bring it to you. It's the Ocean Now system. So I placed an order for a slice of chocolate cake and chocolate chip cookies. It took about 20 minutes maybe and uh, yeah so we're just enjoying our cake and cookies while we'll while we're sitting here. <laughs> oh, it's so loud. They're doing music trivia. Sorry. Okay next up is the steel drum class. My name is Dennis. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, the land of the steel pan. Also the Homebu. The land of steel pan. The, 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 the steel pan is the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. Just in case anyone wondering where it started, it started in Trinidad and Tobago in 1936. It was nothing like this in those days, but since then it evolved to where we are today. The instrument it's just like any other instrument. It's a percussion, but it's a tune percussion. You play melodies, you play harmonies, like an, any, an orchestra. What we have here, it's, it's limited, but you play songs on it. We have eight notes, and the eight notes is a scale. It's a G major scale. So before we play a melody, I would like us to go over playing the scale, okay? Now there's a pattern in playing the instrument. You remember you have a pair of sticks? So you wouldn't be playing with one hand. It's always easy for someone who beginning to just play with one hand, no, I guess, you know? You'll be using both hands. So you're gonna be playing the G major scale and you play that G note with your left hand. Remember, we have to play this as a group. Uh oh, right? we're in trouble. Oh, <laughs> so, okay, it's not a solo. Good luck. <laughs> so, one, two,
two, three, four. ships and we follow the guidance of all of our fantastic musicians I think they're incredible yeah. and I hope that this is a memory that you take back and you share with your friends and your family and hopefully it'll, it'll, when you hear the steel drums wherever you go you'll always think of Dennis and the Caribbean princess am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Go eat! <laughs> steel drum master that was really fun. Oh, Dennis wow. was, uh, he actually was the steel drum player we saw on the first day playing. That's probably one of the best activities I've ever done on a show. He hasn't done many activities. <laughs> 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 what, I'm trying to think what else is it? <laughs> it was funny because some friends we met last night at the wheelhouse uh, were there too. And there was just a small group of people, but you know, they were there, so that was cool. Um, but yes, for now, I think. We are gonna go grab some lunch at the buffet. I'm gonna leave the camera here because camera and buffet equals stress. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, I have to figure out how to iron my shirt because tonight's formal night and I, I like a crisp ironed shirt. So we're gonna go find the laundry room on the ship, which will be good because I think that towards the end of the, like the last few sea days, I might actually wash clothes. So my whole, Suitcase isn't dirty, dirty clothes when we get home. Anything else to say? Uh, no. Okay. I'll find it. We'll figure out lunch. And We're gonna get food. Ta ta. To Toodle. <laughs> Every deck apparently has a laundry mat, which is nice because I thought it was only on certain decks. Did I walk by it? No. Perfect. Ooh, ooh, hot stuff. Mm. Um, we're ready for formal night. Yeah. Look at the fit. <laughs> Look at his cute shirt. <laughs> we both got ties on. I have long arms, so I really don't like sleeves down. I know it's more formal to be down, but my sleeves aren't going down. Anyway, um, we're ready early. Yeah, what we're doing pre-dinner drinks. We're meeting some pre-show drinks. Some cruise friends. <laughs> for pre-show drinks, and then after drinks, we're going to go watch the Broadway. Ballroom, Broadway, something ballroom, like that. Ballroom, yeah. yeah, there's, the words ballroom and Broadway are together in some form. Um, and then we have dinner tonight at 8.20. Formal dinner, obviously. We're all gussied up. Uh, so that's the plan for right now. How you feeling? Good. I feel like we've both taken like three naps today. Cause it's just been a chill day. We took a nap by the pool. I kind of took a nap when you were showering. It's just been relaxing. The ship's mm -hmm. moving a lot. Literally, like Rock, all of the ways. Just rocks you to sleep. I don't think I'll be able to film for the show because I'm pretty sure it's illegal, but at least I can show you the theater a little bit. It's, be it's a beautiful theater. But right now we're gonna head out to the wheelhouse to get drinks and that's it. <laughs> I never know how to end these little segments. Oh, we'll see you later. Toodles. <laughs> okay, we made it to the theater, and as you can tell, there's show tunes playing, so I'm gonna talk over them, but 
Uh, yeah, we're at the theater. The show starts in about, oh boy. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. And you can kind of see how beautiful this place is behind me. It's very Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Right? I've never seen the movie. Uh, me either. Well, I have seen it, but it's the rouging on the curtains. Uh, it's, it's a really pretty theater. It's red. It's red, red. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out here, uh, maybe get a couple drinks delivered, and uh, watch the show, and I'll pick you back up when we head to... Uh, uh, din dinner, dinner after dinner. this. We're gonna dinner yeah. after this. Dinner? We're doing a late dinner. <sighs> Ta-ta for now. We went to the show, which was called Broadway Ballroom. That's, that's, I, we were having trouble with the name, but it's Broadway Ballroom. And it was neither Broadway or bar, Ballroom. <laughs> Actually, it was. It was, it was good. The, the set had Statues of Liberty, so Yeah, it's the Broadway. set was New York-ish. I had expectations going into it, as you probably saw from the previous clips of me being like, oh, I hope they sing Wicked. Like, literally zero Broadway songs until the end. Where kinda. They, and kinda. And but, where but they, I mean, like, the pre, you're going in there, they're playing Phantom of the Opera. Oh, yeah, they're they they're, The pre-music was all, like, these major Broadway spectacles, and you're expecting it, and they come in singing, like, obscure songs that are probably 80 years old. No, and I don't even know if that that's the I, case. I think that they maybe they're Broadway. I don't know. I, think, I didn't recognize them. I think that they took songs, like, because there was a song from Les Mis, a "Dream to Dream and Time Gone By," that they redid. Like they had the same tune, but it was a whole different lyrics. Mm. Like I don't know. I think it was just like a knockoff, and maybe it's licensing. Look, I'm not gonna say that you can't. It just like maybe name it something else, like singing and dancing or like <laughs> I feel like it maybe the theme was Broadway the street and not Broadway what they do on the streets yeah. <laughs> like musicals you know it's just they dance well they sing pretty well mm -hmm. first first show right uh, oh yeah it was in. their first show so I mean the dancers they did a great job on that yeah. executed very well um, but I didn't get the show I didn't get it either I thought going in there that I was gonna we were gonna hear some like yeah. bangers from Broadway musicals and that's just that's not the case so if you have or are going to be on this ship just like keep that in mind the last oh half people God. started recognizing the, the songs yeah the last and it was better it was like the last four or five songs were yeah. like ones you'd recognize and a lot like the last three were ABBA which obviously we loved yeah. so I was really getting into it at the end like I when I got into it Mm -hmm. Curtain down. That was it. But I, I mean, I don't know if I would see it again, but I did enjoy it. So I would recommend seeing it. Just like set no, your expectation. It, at it was a better than level. sitting in an inside room and without a TV. Yeah. 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 There was a situation that maybe is reason why, like, I feel negative about the show, uh, because I have my big camera that we're filming on now, and this thing is like it's large, so. You can't be inconspicuous with this thing. No, people, crew members mention, oh, that's a nice little Yeah, camera. I've gotten so many people are like, that's a big camera. Especially the photographers, right? They want to see yeah. what you're shooting with. It's kind of funny. So I had this camera with me because I took it with me when we left to go have drinks at 5.30. And the show was at 7.30. So I've just had it. I've been carrying And we were running it to dinner right after. Like, get out of the show, yeah. run to dinner. So I took this camera into the theater with me, which is fine. And I just put it on the floor. It was not on. I didn't plan on turning it on. I know you can't film in these things. And I'm not going to break rules because <laughs> I'm not a rule breaker like I just I just I just don't like doing that so this was on the floor next to me and the show was about to start so I wanted to get a cool boomerang for some Instagram content a cool boomerang of the curtains going up because the curtains in the theater are beautiful they're I love it's them. a nice theater yeah, yeah. And so I wanted to get a boomerang of the curtains going up which would have just been like three seconds of you just see vroom, vroom, vroom. And then I was going to say showtime, like, because I was excited for the show. This is my first cruise and my first show on a cruise. Well, I think there was a lady behind us who sat behind us who has to be part of Obviously, Princess. was part of the staff. Or, or yeah. she was the choreograph. She worked for, for the s entertainment. She wasn't yeah. just like a general. Yeah. So the light, the house lights went down. The curtain has not risen yet. And I had my phone out and I was like 
because composition matters to me. So I was between two chairs because I wanted it to be composed like between two theater chairs so then you could see the curtain go up and it'd be like, showtime. All of a sudden she leans forward and like, like yells in instantly. my instantly. ear, yeah. there is no filming our shows, thank you, and then sits back. And then the show started so I couldn't even like, I wasn't gonna film the show, I just wanted to take a photo. Anyway. <sighs> and then every time someone hit a dance move, <gasps> I mean, it was like a high school sports mom sitting in the back row yelling at the referee because they didn't call a foul. Yeah, she kid. was yeah. like, she was given major Amy Poehler in Mean Girls <laughs> vibe. Since it happened to me, I still want to process my feelings. Yeah. I, I told Steve at dinner, what's bothering me the most is that this woman now has an assumption of what I was doing. Like I was trying to secretly record the show, which for the record, why. I wasn't. <laughs> I just wanted to get that one shot. And you know, I would have posted that on Instagram and it would have been, I don't, not promo because I'm, I'm a nobody. But that's what I wanted it for because we have an Instagram. If you're not following it, check it out down below. And now she was assuming that I was trying to like secretly record the show, at least in my mind. And I have no way of like letting her know that that assumption is incorrect and I need, I need to let it go. But it, it's like weighing on me. I, I think that's the Enneagram 4 in me. Let's balance that with some positives. Yeah. The servers, the they start rec they they, it's like they recognize your name, and I don't think it's just because of the app, but they know they remember what you drank. I mean, even someone we were drinking with, it was called Kathy's special drink or something. Oh yeah, so they like yeah, named so a drink I mean, after her because she made a few changes to like. So you can say Kathy's special drink, and it's the yeah, Enfuego the with vodka and topped off with club soda, and they know yeah. it. So it's kind of, that's kind of cool. There has been some great service, and the person that was behind me that kind of set this whole show in a negative vibe is not even part of the service team. No. no. But <laughs> it's, been, it's been really good, so I feel like I complained a little bit about that lady at the show, and I'm just gonna, we're, whatever. Mm -hmm. This is real life. This is my feelings. We're processing, we're processing them. We were doing that through dinner, which I felt like, Dinner tonight, I was just a negative Nelly because I was upset well, by the lady yeah. at the show. We kind of came in late. <laughs> I think it did. Dinner felt a little rushed. Yeah. It was awkward because, I mean, how many other people were in that? Maybe thirty, out of a in dinner. Yeah, I mean, maybe like thirty other people. A venue that holds probably five hundred people. Oh yeah, we were. There was barely um, anyone there, and I felt so really guilty. You could for tell being they were kind of just like being done, and I understand. But it was really hard to find a time to see the show and to eat dinner. Yeah. Um, I think that's true for all ships. We're going to change out of these formal clothes. We're going to put on some other clothes and just kind of peruse the ship a little bit. It's 10 o'clock, 10 10. We guess, you know, we feel like we need to get a couple more drinks maybe to get yeah. our package worth and chill out, see the ship, hit decent hour because we hit St. Thomas tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> We're back and we forgot to tell you what food we had. So. <laughs> Uh, we changed, obviously, and realized we forgot to film the food portion because we were just being negative Nellies. So, yeah. I have not worn this shirt before. For dinner, which we had the island dining room again this evening. So the first night on the ship we had the island dining room. Last night we had coral dining room. Tonight we had island again, and it was so much quicker and better. For me, for starters, I had the crab and Monterey Jack cheese quiche, which was delicious. I really enjoyed it. The crab was not real crab, it was imitation crab, but it was still very, very crab good. Crab with a K. Uh, for salad slash soup, I got the bacon potato chowder with roasted corn relish and aged cheddar, and that also was really delicious. I did not get a video clip of that because <laughs> I was so... <laughs> Too excited to eat it, I guess. I don't know. Somebody was angry. And then for my main, I got medallions of beef tenderloin, cognac and black peppercorn demi glaze, roasted carrots and squash, parmesan potato beignet. The medallion was, the tenderloin medallion was very tender. It was tender. I liked it. I probably got mine cooked a little too, too well done, but that's how I like, I don't like red meat. I don't like any pink or red. For dessert, I got the chocolate hazelnut bar with citrus cream as my dessert, but with most things we share, so we did halvesies. Uh, but I really liked that. I, it it was, was the presentation was beautiful. It had a little bit of gold dust, and uh, it looked like a little Viking boat. 
Tell okay, me. tell the people what you had for dinner. Hello, people. So, I had the duck liver pate. I kind of make a thing on cruises to like get something I would probably never order. Did you like By it? By itself, it was a little gamey. I'm probably not as refined. Yeah, I wouldn't. I didn't even taste it. No, I mean, it was, you know, it's no pickle bologna. Probably wouldn't go out of my way to get, you know, get it again. But I think it was well done. Um, had the, the miss the walnut goat cheese salad greens. I, I don't think you can go wrong with, you no. know, walnuts and goat cheese and those greens. So for the dinner, I had the red snapper. It was very good. Um, so it was roasted red snapper with a yellow pepper, bell pepper bisque. Um, it had some like sweet potato chips kind of on top mm -hmm. and some couscous. Um, I thought it was good. It was well made. It was, it was tasty. And for dessert, I had the bananas foster flambe a la mode. Um, so which was good. Yeah. A la mode because it had an ice cream with it, right? Mm -hmm. And flambe because it I think that means flame, but it was not on fire. <laughs> it was good though. We like I said, we split the desserts, and I enjoyed the I enjoyed both the chocolate hazelnut and the bananas Foster. Yeah. Service was good. It was quick, but yeah, um, we were anxious to get out of there too. To be honest, we were ready to. Yeah, I wanted to be get, done, get out, out of clothes, out of the formal clothes, and just like take a deep breath and relax because I was just ugh. anyway. We're still talking about you know choreographer Karen. <laughs> We're gonna get over it. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna head out now and get a few more drinks. Uh, I'm not taking the camera with me, so this is where we bid oh, you adieu. No, no messy ending. And uh, th we're this is like for real. We're leaving this time. We're not gonna come back. We sure. I think we've done everything we needed to do for this video. The next video will be Saint Thomas, Saint John's, and I hope you guys stick around and I hope you enjoy it. And we will uh, catch you later. Toodles! <laughs>